Hey, my beautiful cancers. So I am here with some spiritual messages for you. If you're interested in booking a personal session with me, if you're interested in a question, if you would like to donate, if you would like to subscribe to or check out my ASMR channel, you guys can do that. I'm going to get into the messages for you, Cancerians. I love y'all. What's the messages for my cancers? 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 Messages from my beautiful Cancerians, please. All right, we're going to take regeneration. We're going to take release your ex. Ooh, the tower card is to bring that energy. If you have been holding on to residual energy connected to an ex, um, it's been kind of lodged in you. Could it be because this is the, you see right here? This could be your heart energy, your heart chakra space. I was also going to say your solar plexus, even your sacral energy. Um, has been affected because of this. This is going to be a tearing down, a completion of this cycle. Um, yeah. Okay. I did see the tower card when I was pulling um, for myself earlier, but it's the energy of that because um, it, it could have been causing some type of inner calam calamity with you. Um, this could have really been stopping your forward progress in a massive way. Okay. What is the messages for my cancer? Mm -hmm. Toxic connection shielded away from you. There's nobody who can come to you that's not going to be good for you. If they ain't right for you, they shielded away from you. And that's just on that. Orphan change. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like a rock up, a shake up, a major just like, oh my God, you know. But it's, 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 and, and it's also cancer going to take some adjusting to get used to this. I don't feel like it's going to be a long time, but everything that God does in our favor is is for us. It's beneficial for us in a very high way. So you you know, see it that way, cancer, instead of seeing it because this could be like no communication. I'm talking about everything just phew, just like that. Phew, just like that's what you this is the tower card for me in this day. That's that energy. Kaput. Is over. It's finalized. And then, you know, yeah. What's the messages, please? Cancers. We got the new life card, the financial card. Look at this. All this is going to benefit you once because this is what's been holding you back. Whatever connection, whatever hindrance, whatever hold that this situation, this person, this relationship had on you. God, your spirit team, your angels, whatever, have been noticing this for a very long time. And because it's been such a hindrance on you and because they need you to meet, move further and further into your purpose and faster and more powerful into your purpose, it has to be pulled away from you. Anything that's not for you, it's it, that's what's going to happen. That's the season we're in, you guys. That's what this, you know... Uh, a lot of us have purpose, have the, I don't want to get into that. We're going to talk about that in a separate video because I was going to go somewhere very deep. <laughs> Cancers. And I was going to take up, you know, majority of your reading, so I don't want to do that. But anyways, what are the messages? Your finances and your career. Um, there's more of a focus on this now for some of you guys because you don't have this. And like I said, this doesn't necessarily, don't put yourself in the mindset that this has to be a romantic connection. This could be any type of relationship where there's being a hindrance. Now, this is a connection of romance, but you're like, where? I don't have nobody in my life. This could be somebody that passed over, but you were still carrying the guilt, energy, um, their their scent, their their frequency with you in your heart space, your love, guilt, whatever it is. Like, this is being yanked away from you. You've already learned and saw what you needed to see in this situation. I don't think it's nothing else that needs to be seen or saw. You know, what is the messages for my cancer? What are the messages for my cancerians? Ooh, that I keep seeing this. This is soulmate energy. This is Gemini energy cancer. What are the messages? King of Cups showing up. 
could be a king of cups that's coming in for you in terms of a love offer. This is somebody who is very emotionally disciplined, who is loving, who listens, who's kind, who's tender, who's social. They share themselves with people, but at a place where it's comfortable for them. This could also be your masculine energy as well, okay? What is the message for my beautiful, oh, I'm going to say fire signs. Some of you guys got fire strong in your chart. Some of you guys love fire signs. You are more, you're more called and connected to people who have fiery energy. That makes sense. What is the message? This could be your energy that you're moving into once this happens. What is the message for cancer? Ooh, we got nine of pentacles, focus, determination, independence. What is the messages for my cancers? We got eight of cups. Yeah, look, mm -hmm, look at this. The eight of cups and the release your ex card. The eight of cups is healing old emotions, turning your back on what was. Some of you guys could be turning your back on our Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Healing through old emotions, turmoil, anything that was holding, going back to that original thing. What is the messages for my cancer? Ooh, we got nine of cups. Look at this. Emotional success. Focusing on yourself after being in this energy long enough. Orphan, left alone, by yourself. I'm tired. I'm, I'm being tired of being rejected. You know, focusing on your, your inner wealth, your inner home. Remember, this, this your first home is within yourself. What is the messages for my cancer? Ooh, the devil card. The new life. Capricorn energy, very strong emphasis on Capricorn. We're going to clarify that. What's the messages for my cancers? Messages for my cancers, please. Messages for my cancers. It's a Capricorn that may be wanting to make a decision when it comes to you. Cause yeah, we got the Five of Swords. You guys are conflicted. You guys are standing in your power. Even though you're conflicted, what's the finances and career? Victory, yep. Major victory, success. This is all 7 11. Confirmation. Queen of Cups. This is your card. This is your energy, Cancer. Queen of Cups. Loving, nurturing, kind, mother energy. Very strong mother energy. Very strong mother energy, okay? But the Five of Swords. Let's see what this devil card is. What's this devil card? Yep, this is somebody who, this is either a Capricorn or a Cancer of Scorpio or a Pisces who wants to offer you, who wants to talk to you, who wants to spend time with you, who's um, connected to you for some of you guys in some type of way. What's this Five of Swords? They're determined to, they're, it's like a determination. If this is not like, this is something to do with financial success as well. This person can have some type of insight for you that may help you on your way, help you with balancing something out in your world, your personal world right now. What is this Five of Swords, please? What is this Five of Swords? The Five of Swords is clarified by the Four of Swords, which is rest, rejuvenation. Listening to your spirit team. This is a time for you to listen to your intuition and listen to your spirit team. Listen to your spirit team. Listen to your spirit team. Listen to your listen to your spirit team. Listen to your guides. Listen to your ancestors. Listen to your angels. They're sitting right here. Picture Tinkerbell flying around you, trying to get you to open up, trying to get you to see something. Four swords. What's the messages for my Cancerians? Let's get a couple more cards for my Cancerians. Okay, we have the Page of Wands skill. This is your card again. Here go the Cancer card right here in the middle. That's Chariot. That's movement. The momentum. <laughs> the Knight of Wands, powerful impact on the world. Leo Aries Sag, energy. Get out of your head space. Stop being stubborn. Being stubborn makes you get into a headspace that is not for you, Cancer. What is the message? Get out of your headspace. Get out of your headspace. It's going to lead to this. If you stay in your headspace, it's going to lead to depression, anxiety, and you're going to be defensive. You're going to be throwing darts at people. You know? This is one of your guides stopping you from this. They're not even allowing this energy to come in. One of y'all, if y'all got a guy that's really powerful, they're not even letting that happen. Anything that could put a little monkey wrench in your zip? Mm -mm. No man, no ham. Mm -mm. 
Ooh, the Emperor in the Five of Pentacles. Aries energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. This Aries, this Aries, yeah, this is the, this is what I'm saying. This is my grandfather card. Somebody had an Aries moon, Aries sun, but whatever this is, or a sun that was an Aries, but this um this is the energy of something being stopped that can put let's see what this five of pentacles is, and I'm leaving five of pentacles for cancer. Five of pentacles for cancer. Five of pentacles. Oop. The queen of pentacles leveling up, cycling over, building your foundation, standing in your power, listening, communicating, moving into a home. Some of you guys moving to a home soon. Peace. Love y'all.